everybody, D here. Today I've got something that I have been looking forward to getting for a very long time. I broke down, I had to do it. I went and picked up some isopods. I have all the supplies that I needed here. I just had to go and get my little critters. I don't know if you can see them here. There's some actually sitting just along the wall. I am super excited. I'm not new to having bugs. I do keep a very large colony of mealworms to keep my piranhas downstairs happy. So adding this guys just kind of seemed like something extra and something fun to do. I'm hoping to use them maybe in future projects to help feed other critters, that kind of thing. And for right now, they are making a really awesome pet. So let's take a closer look of how they got here and the container and supplies that I got. All right, so this is the container that they came in and down below in here is the container that I made up quick to put them in. Included in the container were several oak leaves, a few other bits and pieces of matter that I also put into the tank. I wanted to make sure I got everything. I know that's all good stuff for them as well. The first one I got out was already hiding on the little stick. I love the color. I think it is so unique and also kind of addicting to have so many patterns and sizes available, kind of like the fish. So in this container, I got kind of the base starter pack of 10 and up here in Canada, these guys are at $2 each. I haven't gone price shopping or comparing elsewhere in Canada, but I thought these guys were my first kind of ones to go to. The patterning is just so neat, and I did see a little bit of variation even within this small sample here. One of them is kind of a lighter color, and one of them has more of these speckly patterns instead of this nice solid stripe like this one. In the setup, I have a piece of cork bark that my snake managed to let me destroy not too long ago. Lots of the, the dirt for underneath that I do use in their enclosures. I forgot to check what it was before I started the video. Some old leaves that I also use in his vivarium. A piece of old shed for them to start munching on. I thought it would be a good addition. And of course the contents of the container itself. As these guys grow, I can either split them up or start a larger container to go with them. These are a medium size pill bug. And so I thought this container would be a good starter size for me to try. Now for this, I know these guys need a little bit more ventilation than what I had, so I did cut the lid out larger as you can see here. And I do also have a problem with my plants that I keep. I have a lot of them and I do have a problem with some flying bugs getting around. So I grabbed the glue gun and made this new lid out for them. And it should also help because I did overwater them for sure to start out with. So I'm going to try and let them drain and then just wet one side of the container. I'm hoping this new screen, it is so perfect. I just kind of sacrificed one of my recyclable bags and this is going to work great for this container and for future projects as well. So there we have it. We've got enough for some more containers in the future and I hope you like this video. I'm so glad I could see one of these here and I will see you guys all next time.